response to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mathinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group Unita moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. Unita's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on Unita can tell us who's pulling its strings. Welcome back to my walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5, my friend. This mission is called Total Stealth Pitch Dark. In Total Stealth we can't be seen by the enemy, otherwise it will be an automatic game over. But that really doesn't change this mission, in fact, this mission is a lot simpler now, because we can select the drop time and we also have better gear, so it's very simple to complete. If you manage to complete it with perfect stealth. When you play this mission for the first time then you won't have any issues now. The first thing that we're going to do is get the four child soldiers. They're all sleeping. So we're going to use the stun arm to take out all the soldiers and the child soldiers that are guarding their house. And then I'll extract them using the wormhole fluton. Don't worry about that guy because he's going to be knocked out in uh, just a moment. There we go. So let's get the four child soldiers. I'm not going to worry about the other soldiers because I'll be out of here before they have time to wake up. So now what we're going to do is get the jeep that's on the near the exit of the village and we're going to drive it towards our next objective. He's coming too. Roger that. I really don't know why they decided to put this mission during this segment. It makes no sense for this mission to, to be placed at this time. The continuity of, of the story in Metal Gear Solid 5 really is very badly done, but regardless of that, we're going to take out this soldier right here. Let's extract him. And now before the patrol soldiers arrive, we're going to drive away and out of the village. Just go through the corner here and they won't be able to see you. And now in order to make sure that they don't lock down the, the oil field, we are going to clear out an enemy camp, because if we do that then we can complete that objective as well. I'm speeding this part up because you've already seen it before and just to make this mission a little bit faster I figured it was pointless to show myself drive around at normal speed once again you have arrived at your destination. so let's use the stun arm again like I said I want to complete this mission as fast as possible because there's just no point in dragging it out let's get the last soldier it was a little bit too far away. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the 
rest to us. If you extract those four soldiers or kill them, you can kill them if you want, even though that will affect your score, but regardless of what you do, if you extract them or kill them, then only two of the walker gears will go to the oil field and try to close down the place, and then when you arrive back in the camp, you'll notice that there are two abandoned walker gears, which you can extract and by doing this you guarantee that you complete the objective for leaving the hot zone before the security forces close down the oil field. So it really makes this mission very simple and by doing this you don't need to worry and it will be very easy to complete that objective because all that we need to worry about is the soldiers that come from one of the sides. There won't be any soldiers coming coming from the other side, so that will really make things easier. Let's put that guy to sleep. I want him out of the way. I really hate this part because there are just so many soldiers patrolling this area that it can be very troublesome. But we'll find a way. I'm going to put the soldiers guarding the gate. Which leads to the tank. To sleep. And by using my sniper rifle. Because I want to save the stun arm. Since I want one of the soldiers to alert HQ. So that all the soldiers come and inspect this area and then I will be able to catch them all with a stun arm. So now HQ is going to send soldiers to investigate this area. While we wait we're going to place the C4 on the tank. But we're not going to blow it up quite yet. We're going to wait until we're out of the oil field so that we can set up a trap for the, the two soldiers that are piloting the walker gears and the remaining soldiers that come with them to try and lock down the oil field and it's really silly that i can't pass through here but oh well we're going to have a little bit more company here Time to start spinning. See, but it works pretty well. As you can see, a lot of the soldiers came to inspect this area. So now they're all going to be in range of my stun arm. There we go. So we don't need to worry about them. And we'll be out of here before they wake up. So don't move. I really like this sucker punch move. So let's keep going now. Let's press that switch. There's a small passage through here which you can use. It's not through here. We'll have to go through the other side. It's here. 
There we go. So now we'll go up, press the button, get out of the oil field and I'm going to get out following a different path because since the enemies are, are on alert it will just be easier to get out through the other side. Let's catch this guy, make sure he doesn't get in our way. Nap. There we go. And now let's press the switch. There's the transfer pump control room. The emergency. Got it. I won't show the cutscene because I already showed it on my original walkthrough for this mission, so it's pointless to show the cutscenes again. And now we're going to leave through the other side. As you can see, it's very simple. So what we're going to do next is place a couple of decoys on the road so that when the security team comes down the road they will stop briefly to investigate the, the decoys and while they do that I'm going to once again use my stern arm to take them all out and complete this mission. Let's wait for that guy to move ahead, there we go. You're too late suckers, I'm out of here. One, I'm going to place two just to be on the safe side, just in case things go wrong. And now we can detonate the C4. Awesome. So now all that we need to do is wait for the security team to arrive. They'll come down this road, but little do they know that they'll have a surprise waiting. There they are. So let's move back up the hill. Uh, it's snake to climb up the hill. It's kind of annoying how he always slides down even if it's just a little rock. But let's start spinning. All the soldiers are going to stop because of the decoys and they're all in range so we'll be able to take all of them out. See? And there we go. Let's get the two walker gears and the other two walker gears will be back in the camp because we took out the soldiers guarding the camp earlier on. If you don't take them out they will come through the other side and you probably won't be able to complete the objective of extracting the hot zone before the oil field is closed down. Like I said, the hardest part for me 
when it comes to this mission it's by far invading the, the oil field getting in and getting out there's a lot of soldiers and even at night time they can spot you from far away But that's it for this mission, we're just going to head towards the helicopter now. All of the objectives have been completed. The last objective will only appear once we complete the mission. As you can see. So let's get inside the helicopter and let's leave. So I dare say that this mission was more easy the second time around in comparison to the first time because we're bound to have a lot better equipment at this point. So there we go my friends, another mission complete, let's see how we did, pretty well. So this concludes this mission my friends, I hope you found it useful. And I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care.